Come on, Rangers. Come on, Rangers. We missed the whole game. South of London, along the commuter belt and next to the ancient town of Oxted, lie the settlements of Hurst Green and Holland. An area that, back in 1086, the Doomsday Book noted was the place where oaks grow. For the next season and beyond, a bunch of amateurs will be camped out in Hurst Green, where former child manager Peter Barkley has been offered the role as head coach of Holland Sports, a football team that plays in the Mid-Sussex Prem, the very division that child were playing in when we first met Barks. And while Barks was looking to step up a league or two after finishing at Charlwood, Holland Sports Chairman Duncan West has tempted Barks over to a club that has the potential to go travelling up the Football League ladder. That 10 years that I've been involved has seen uh, quite dramatic highs and, and lows, with the exception of two players. You know, this is the highest level they've ever played football at. It's going to be a shock to the system when they run out there in a couple of weeks' time you know, and, and come up against some well-drilled, you know, strong sides. To counter that, we need good management, we need a good system, you know, we need good organisation, uh, we need good leadership, and Barks brings all of that to the table. Step six, step five would have been kind of the ballpark I was, I was looking at, um, and when Holland approached me, I, I did dismiss it initially, just because of, it's the same level as Charwood, and, I hope that doesn't sound too egotistical, but I was looking for dugouts and floodlights and, and the facilities to, to really progress. So um, I initially just dismissed it straight away um, and then um, had a closer look at it a couple of days later and, and thought there was something interesting here. Personally, having watched the, the, you know, the documentary over the, over the last um, few months, you know, and, and got a bit of a feel for who Barks is as a character and kind of his moral standpoint. I think that chimes really nicely, you know, with the way we are, we are as a club. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous, of course I'm nervous. It's a strange, it's a, you know, it's a really strange situation. I've, we've got some games out on YouTube that, that some of them would have seen, some of them won't. Some of them will have a, a preconceived idea of me. I've got to learn all their names, how good they are at football, get a squad together and also kind of assess them as people and see if they are the kind of people that we want in with us this year for, for this challenge ahead of us because they are newly promoted, you know, and my goal as always is to win everything, all the marbles, and we need to set that stall out early doors and let them know that that's what we want to do. We want to win everything, we want to do it the right way with the right people. First impressions, a lot of work needed. First day on the job, isn't it? <laughs> Whatever club you go to, you empty out the ball bag, there's a half drunken bottle in there and some goalie gloves lying around. So obviously, you know, strange feelings, but routine kicks in, doesn't it? I just feel like it's a normal session, but we we'll kind of have a chat, open session today, so anyone come down, some of the reserves, don't know how many. I always want to be set up before they arrive, I think that's really important, especially first session. Go, these guys are organised. Because I don't know what they're used to, they might just turn up and have a game. I don't know what they're used to here. So basically, on arrival, we were told the stuff is just all in different changing rooms, so like, you don't know what you're going to find. So this is the painting dressing room. So yeah, that's... Wow, have they left the sticks here? Yeah, they have as well. Yeah, I've had a go this morning. I'm Barks, you are? Harry. Nice to meet you, Harry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wes. Wes, nice to meet you, Wes. Are you on the track, do you know, at all, Harry? We've never... You're going to say no now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Morning chaps, famous Sam Cocker I believe. Goal scorer apparently. How you doing Barks, nice to meet you. How are you, nice to meet you. You okay? Yeah, not too bad, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Barks and Mike aren't the only new boys on the block. The first session is an open trial and several players are coming down to try out despite not knowing anybody. What's your name mate? Samir. Hello Samir, Mike. Nice, nice to meet you mate. You right, do you know everyone? Nah. 
No, so. first time as well. Yeah. Fantastic, same for us as well. Charlie. Charlie, nice to meet you, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mate, great to have you. Because oh, we're new here, we're just working out if you were here before or if no, you just no, come no. down like us. So we're in the same boat as you, Charlie. Lads, this is Charlie, just come down today with us. With so many new faces for Barks and Mike to deal with, it's something of a relief when the Tennant brothers rock up. There's no carrying goal. It's just little changes that make it like, you know, no more carrying goals. I mean, that's the first thing I thought, Tom. That's the first thing I thought. I was like, I'm not carrying goals. Like, I'm, not, I'm not the first thing I have to tell you boys to carry yeah. the goals out. Wesley's well, got some clover, isn't he? I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got anything grey or black, Westy? Is it all bright and, you know? Both of these two, on a scooter. <laughs> awesome. Hello, mate. You can't use any of that today, I'm afraid. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, good I'm see good. Long time no yeah, see, mate. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. All right, all right then, boys. Kind of try to say hello, hello to everyone as they turned up. I'm Barks, this is Mike. Obviously, we were at Charwood last year, um, and we're delighted to kind of come in and take over here. Open session today, so hopefully, Everyone's tried to meet everyone here. A few little changes. We've got a camera guy following us around. Um, so just get used to that. There will be a few TikToks made and things like that of you all. Um, our intention is really just to focus on the football. Three trophies up for grab, the league, county cup and another cup. And really our goal is to win all three and to get this club up a league higher. But we want to enjoy it and have a laugh with you boys and get to know you all. And we want to win games of football and hopefully you boys do too. Let's put them over there. How are you going, Todd? Alright. I haven't seen you in years, either, mate. I think the last time I see you, because you went to Oxford, didn't you? And you've come down and played against us. You keeping well, eh? Yeah, I'm good, man. Yeah, good. Yeah, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Yeah, go on, mate. You get on. I taught Todd when he was 11 at school. So yeah, he's the only one that I know from the new lot. So um, he is a character, and someone that you might want to follow pretty closely oh yeah he, he's going to give you some content probably like that yeah, yeah. turn out there we've uh -huh. i've never had that yeah never had that fit in five years <laughs> decisions your legs are going to be a bit jelly like that always happens the way we're going to play this year is to hunt as a pack to press together we don't allow anyone to press on their own because it's a waste of someone's energy so when someone's going if you're behind and you can see everything if you're a midfielder keeper center back whoever tell people to hold you don't have to press all the time if we put the ball over there and our man's being tracked down by two people the rondo's gone the wrong way boys i just again start sorry to repeat myself i will do that a lot by thanking you for turning up, by thanking you for your effort. Obviously, me and Mike are quite nervous turning up here, meeting all you lads for the first time, and I'm sure some of you lads that have come for the first time. It's a, it's a unique situation, but we leave knowing we've got a brilliant squad of lads, good people who want to work hard, and hopefully sharing the same goal of, of wanting to enjoy the football, enjoy everything, and win games and win trophies, and have champagne flying everywhere, because that's what we enjoy. It's all well and good, and the show is, is all really decent and whatever. But it's really bad watching these videos when you've been beat 3-0. And every team that turns up knows it's going on and will think you're a bunch of prima donnas. So what we do out here and the work you put in for Barks is the stuff that matters. But it's here it counts. That stuff will come. Today was amazing. You bring that Wednesday again. You're all invited back Wednesday and we're slowly whittled down um, as the season progresses. So brilliant session, boys. You enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. Well done, boys. Give yourself a clap. Go well, have a drink. Well done, lads. Mate, Listen, uh, you're a good player, I want to get you involved. Yeah, How are yeah. you feeling about it? Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah I'm interested in like, yeah? signing up because it's quite local. I only know where I get and stuff. Yeah, good so, player. Did you play first team at uni? Yeah. Yeah? Well, we couldn't have hoped for better, really. Great bunch of lads. Turn out, you know, you've been with me and seen me, four or five lads at training. That turn out there. And like I said to them, I'm a bloke. It's nerve wracking turning up at a brand new job. All these eyes are on you. They've obviously seen some clips of me and Mike and have, a, have some kind of view of what we're like. Um, 
but the attitude application was spot on. The way they received us, the way they worked, I really couldn't have asked for a better session. I think that's to sum it up. It's a great start. Um, you know, finding a drum kit in the in the first team dressing room was a bit of a shock. Um, and you can tell just by speaking to some of the people there, the groundsmen, committee people. You know, they want to improve as a club. We want to improve as people, as a team, as a club. And all the tools are here to do that. And all the backing is there to do that. They did keep ball today. And I said to you, look, to, they're doing keep ball, Rondo, without any instruction, without anything. They just started it. And I was like, well, this is different. This is a little bit different. We've got committee people. We've got a clubhouse. We've got everyone on side. And they're all willing to learn. You know, there's no one who thinks that they've heard it all before. Um, some experienced lads in there as well who've played at a better level than what we're going to be playing in, um, but still willing to take on new ideas and stuff, which is for us is what you need. And I think the next Wednesday will be our first friendly here against a very good um, Merston under 23s. Now that's a Ryman level side, Ryman Prem level side. Very fit. I, I expect us to be run ragged, which I don't mind. Um, and we've organised some tough, tough games. So when that season starts, day one, we're ready. And ideally, we're the fittest, hungriest team in the league, looking the best. This season, Bunch of Amateurs has backing. That is to say, Pro Direct and Adidas drove a truckload of cash up to my house and poured it into the front garden. They then asked us to give Holland Sports home and away kits, which the club were asked to design. Go on, Mike, you do it. You get them out. So, well, essentially then, we've got a pick what kits we want for next year. So we've got a selection of Adidas and Pro Direct stuff. I'll whack them all on the table. See, I, I like the orange theme. I'm not going to lie. That one's nice. Yeah, I like that. that. Nice. So I think we should obviously say that at the moment the kit's black and yellow, isn't it? But historically there has been orange with Holland Sports, we believe. My instincts when I took over and spoke to Westy, and I said to you, Westy, when walking around, was the orange, because the club badge was orange on the, on the Twitter feed. What would you think about going orange? Um, first and foremost, is there any reason we want to move away from black and yellow? Is there any, you know, do we not like black and yellow? I, I like the yellow and black. I think we need a really leery cut kit though. Yeah. Like we need a pink or a purple we, cut third we, kit. You know, Luke, like a really, a really out there. Well, like. yeah, okay, let, let, let's, 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 do, let's go in yeah, reverse then perhaps. Third. Oh, wow. I think they can be anything, can't they? I mean, that is a rascal jersey, yeah. Children, third kit, so I'll buy this. I'll Women's. buy this for my girls. Yeah. When we get hammered, remember who fucking told you <laughs> So one kit's going to have to keep the colours, right? Gonna, at least home or away is going to have to be black and yellow. You know, look up there. Everyone's got, got this kit across the club, right? So it would be a wholesale change. You know, for what reason? I think we should have orange as the away kit, if we don't have it as home. And then maybe that, that one for an away. It's quite a nice. Yeah. So, okay, what are we going for? Home shirt then? Do the home shirt. Yeah, right. are you, yeah this, is, this is the one moment in the club's history where you can revamp the whole <laughs> club. <laughs> I think we're fairly ready to black and, black and yellow as, as the home, keep it. You know, we've got that across the club as yeah. it is. You know, all the track suits, everything that's currently in place is black and yellow. Yeah. And then on the collar... I on. think have, have the... It'll be one stripe, won't it? Or have the, have the trim. And, and then that one with the pink down. one. Is it going to yeah. not have a long but, shelf life? But, 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 yeah, but we could get knocked out in the first round of the yeah. cup, so... Yeah, um, but it's cup kit, isn't it? So... I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's an incentive, isn't it? It's a great incentive we're to get to the final. We're going to be lifting the county cup in that, mate. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm just so <laughs> glad. I'm so <laughs> glad that you've witnessed this. When the boys moan, Harry's been the one behind us. Harry, ching, ching, it. <laughs> <laughs> we've gone good and conservative for our main kit, right? Yeah. That's us. Yeah. That's what we orange. stand for, yeah. right? You, we, we're doing, we're doing the whole Holland. Here we come, orange, yeah. 1980s. What? Hi, Keith. Keith, these are the chaps How here. How you doing, Keith? This is our groundsman, nice and, you, and um, in sure. fact, nice 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 in fact, yeah, yeah. When did we stop wearing orange? Keith, did you, Keith, did you used to wear orange when you played? No, I was out in black. And we used to put our own shorts and socks, and all we got was a shirt. So yeah, that's changed. Living, yeah, yeah. yeah. Blimey. Well, good to see you, Keith. Well, there you go. At least, we, at least we know we're on the money in terms of the colours. 
and we need to look at the sponsor for what probably the home kit and if you guys want to continue the one you've got just to be clear on where we are as a club with the sponsors everyone that sponsored last year we've essentially extended that sponsorship by a year because they got nothing last year i yeah. mean the season was 12 weeks long you know we didn't have any events no social dues no opportunities all right well so what we've we done we, we sorted the kits out and everyone's happy sponsors are up to the up to the committee but the third one's going to be pro direct and exactly. we'll find a training venue for the winter months yeah. Yeah. we're ready yeah. to go saturday and we'll talk about the squad luke yeah. you can go and fish your dinner out of the bin or something now mate <laughs> <laughs> yeah Great, well, good Guys, to, thanks good for your time, yeah. yeah. Great to meet yeah. you, Yeah, fabulous. Bullshit. what a journey, eh? Fabulous, Cheers, here we go, mate. yeah. Cheers, Luke, nice to meet you, mate. It's the first time putting out some new colours. So, obviously, really good numbers, really, really good work ethic, seemed like a good bunch. Uh, we whittled it down slightly in terms of numbers. Today, really, after today, I need to know my squad um, and make some tough calls with some of the lads that have worked hard. But everyone who's trained, at least done the two, two out of three sessions, is getting a game tonight. Everyone's gonna to get 45 minutes. Even ones that I think probably won't make it, I think it's fair to give, my philosophy is if you've shown effort, you know, and shown to be a good lad, then you get a chance. So everyone gets 45, and then after today, is kind of crunch time to make a decision on, on my main squad, really, of about, I mean, I can't believe I'm saying it, a squad of, potentially 26. <laughs> I mean, you know, those that know from childhood days when I was getting eight at training and bare minimal, to have 26 and to be able to put some in the reserve side, it's all uncharted territory for me. All of this is turning up and the goals are done. Someone's cleaned the changing room for me. Um, someone washed the kit afterwards. So there's so many great things happening at this club. Big game tonight though, under 23 is a Ryman Prem side. I think they're Ryman Prem, so they're going to be fit. It's 100 million degrees out there. Um, so my phone says anyway. Um, so it's a tough, tough test. And who knows, it, you know, it could be a cricket score to them today, but at least we get some minutes in and everyone's going to get like a decent run out today, I think. All right, boys. So, um, Obviously, this is after today, we're going to whittle it right down. Um, everyone who's trained you know, over the three sessions had an opportunity today. Everyone's going to get 45. They're a good outfit. Like some of them were involved with the, with the first team last night. You know, that's the level we're at here. So first and foremost, whatever we do, we don't embarrass ourselves okay, against this lot. And it's, it's the first step of our journey together. And I know I said they're a good outfit, but I know we're, we're a bloody good outfit. I know that. I can feel it. All right. We're the wasps, aren't we? We're the wasps. I, and I, for me, I think this is the hive, right? Yeah, yeah. We, and we defend it. We defend it. We defend that, lads, tonight. Okay, and it starts here. Oh yeah, I was just thinking, all day. I said, should I say it? Should I say it? Cut that. Cut that out. Um, but just make sure you've got your own standards here. You've done it in training. Don't do all those sessions, work your nuts off, and come out here and, and stroll around. Make sure for 45, you leave it out here tonight. All right? Those first 11, go get changed, then, boys. Well done. Sort it out! Sort it out, Ollie! A young, energetic and well-organised Merstam side immediately take control of the ball and with Holland playing in a 3-5-2 formation for the first time ever, the home side are easily picked off. Oh, wowzers. Get on it, Lou! Get going! Barks wants his team to pass the ball around and the extra man in midfield should offer another option. Wait! It out. But the team are unfamiliar with the tactics and eventually the ball is played long, losing possession in the process. What well on Luke, what well on Luke? Captain Luke Harrison keeps the ball moving in midfield, but new signing Samir Garun is looking rattled. Don't worry Samir, trying to play. Samir's working hard to close the ball down, but the three-man defence is yet to figure out how to deal with the balls behind the wing-backs. Right shoulder, right shoulder, 11! Oh, goal. Good start, isn't it? Time, oh, hi, time! Hi, hi. Maka! This way, this way. Protect it, Maka! Oh, hi, Samir! Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on Maka! The energetic Merstam side are repelling all the Holland attacks, and they're attacking at will. Or rather, Joe the goalkeeper. 
Oh my god. Most of them have figured out that dropping the ball into the corners of the pitch is all they need to do to take the Holland defence apart. And a misheader from Samir leads to yet another goal. Oh my god. Well done, Steve. Roll Joe Hill. Steve Panay and Joe Hill show glimpses of their quality, but even they can't outwit the Ryman League side. With the half drawing to a close, Merstam attacked the flanks like Hannibal at the Battle of Cannae, and they bagged themselves a fifth goal. All right, boys, listen. Like I said, pre-season's money in the bank. It's, it's just minutes. They're a Ryman Prem under-23 side. You know, they're playing first-team football. They're picking up money to play. Don't be disheartened. Don't be disheartened. The reason I pick these fixtures is because I know it's a bloody tough game. And I know they're better than the teams in the league we're going into. So don't get your head down. At times we played some really good football. I think we've got to trust each other a bit more. We've got to be a bit louder, a bit braver. And a lot of that's down to me and Mike and organising things. But when we move the ball, they're working. We just sometimes, you think about them, they're relaxed. They're not really forced in like we are at times. Because you're winners and you've won leagues and you've won cups, you're disappointed. And I love that. But that's why we pick these games, all right? It's minutes in the bag, we learn from it, and gives me and Mike something to work on. Okay, boys, keep your heads up. The ones coming on, you've stood here and watched. Some of you got points to prove as well, okay? Get out there, let's get going. With a few changes and a bit more self-belief, Holland press Merston for the first time, and they begin to pepper the away goal with shots. The introduction of Todd Scott on the left is promising, while Steve Panay's influence is growing. Good effort, Steve. Great energy, Todd. Have a breather. Good ball, Ollie. Good ball, Ollie. Brilliant touch, Joe. Love that. Yeah! On this occasion, Joe Hill slips in the box, but it remains clear this is a guy who can terrify defences. Brilliant, James. Drive, Todd. Drive, Todd. Nice ball, Todd. James Barker's interplay with the lively Todd Scott is another reason for Barks to be cheerful, even if Barker can't quite find the net. Love that, you too. Scott is clearly a man who makes stuff happen, and when he gets in behind, he creates Holland's best chance of the match. Oh, oh brilliant, Todd. Holland's defence is also improving, but a rather harsh handball shout goes against them, and Merstam have a penalty to make it six. Penalty. The last time we saw George Smith, he was scoring a 25-yard goal of the season contender down at Charlwood. His arrival at Holland Sports bodes well for an already impressive attack. Finish. Oh, lucky. And Joe Hill might well have managed Holland's first goal of pre-season, but even with his side 6-0 up, the Lino decides to cheat. No, no way. way! Brilliant, James! Holland continued to push, with George Smith setting up Conor McGuinness for yet another shot. Target is Con. Oh, lucky. Get over him. What a ball target. A smart move around the opposition box shows a side growing in confidence despite the emphatic scoreline. With seconds left on the clock, Merston pushed forward looking for a seventh. They may be 7-0 up in a pre-season friendly against a team several steps below them in the pyramid, but Merstam celebrate like they've just found out Portland Drive is finally going to be demolished. That's a reference for the locals there. Boys, I'm just going to just repeat really what I've said. Nobody be down. It's a pre-season game. Don't mean nothing. Like I said, that lads, some of them are playing Ryman Prem football. All right, so 
That's why I picked it, because I knew it was a tough challenge. And there were a lot of positives there, a lot of positives. Joe Cav, um, that's about it. No, <laughs> there's a lot of positives out there. And the way we move the ball, I can see how we're going to play. I can see how we're going to play, and I can see how we're going to create chances. Yeah, we've got to tighten up, and again, that's me or Mike looking at things, but that's game one. That's not their first pre-season game. That's not their first game, lads. And whatever we do, we're together. I'm with you, Mike's with you. I don't want to lose games of football. I don't want to go away and, and go in the committee and say we lost 8-0, but I'll, I'll dust it off, because I know a long-term goal is that we win that league, and I know we can do it. I know we can do it. So don't get yourselves down. We're here together collectively. Them numpties there singing and cheering a pre-season game of football. They haven't seen our journey. This is step one. This is step one of about 100 boys. So keep your heads up. No negativity. We're proud of the effort. Lads second half, brilliant energy out there. Todd came on, leader, talking, all the things we want. It was always going to be a huge, huge task. No one's going to be better than them this season. No one. That's our first, first get together. Loads to work on. Keep your heads up, all right? We're together. OK, come on. I think it's natural to feel, feel flat after that, you know, and a little bit shell-shocked as well, to be honest, because you think about the shape, it's your first game here, you know, the committee have given us a job and then we concede, like, two rubbish goals very quickly, you know. So I feel different. I feel embarrassed a little bit, embarrassed a little bit going in the clubhouse and seeing them all. On the flip side, I know the reality is like I said to the boys, they're a rhyme and prem side. They're getting paid to play football. Yeah, they're the under-23s. They've had a long pre-season, longer than us. So the reality is we weren't going to win today, and I knew that. I think it can be damaging because we're new, um, and it's a new relationship. You're trying to build a new relationship when you've just been beaten. However, I, you know, I'm fairly positive. I think there were some really good things out there. We've learned a lot, but there's quite a lot of boys here. You know, the first training session, we have 29 or something down. So we've got to, we've got to whittle the squad down, and there's definitely enough we've seen there um, to be positive about, but no one likes losing games of football. You can see the old non-league style of trying to just turn it and trying to clip it over their heads, whereas good centre-backs at this level are dropping and reading things. So I think we have to be a bit more patient at times. Um, but second half, a lot more energy. As I said, Todd, George as well, I thought was brilliant. So, You know, some of the young ones that came in and probably haven't got near that first team, you know, we're not afraid to throw them on. You know, if they're good enough, they're going to play. And I think for some of the other lads, it'll be good for them to see that we're not afraid. You know, we're, we're new, we don't know anyone, I'm still getting to know names. And so all I can do, all Bartles can do is pick who we think is right to play, um, not based on loads of history or friends or, you know, any sort of dynamics in the dressing room. We have to stick together. Um, and I think the lads did that and they didn't give up, which I really respect. They, they fought to the end and there's some really um, good performances, but some brilliant attitudes out there tonight, despite the result. Thanks to the amazing teams at Pro Direct and Adidas, Holland Sports Uncovered is going to be going all season long. So make sure you hit subscribe and we will bring these episodes right into your TV or phone or computer.